Hello there, this is the Bookkeeper Master on YouTube. Welcome to this bank reconciliation series. This series will teach you how to do a bank reconciliation on Sage 50 accounts. This is Sage 50 Cloud, but if you've got Sage Instant accounts or Sage 50 accounts, the process is almost identical. So it doesn't really matter what Sage software you have, the process of doing a bank reconciliation is pretty much the same with Sage Instant, Sage 50 and Sage 50 Cloud. So welcome to the tutorial. If you're new to Sage, then I suggest you take one of my other free tutorials first. It's important that you know how to raise invoices, record customer payments, supplier payments, add bank accounts, edit bank accounts. It's important that you know all the basics really of Sage before attempting a bank reconciliation. So what I suggest you do is go over to my website which is freebookkeepingaccounting.com. If you click on free stuff, start here, scroll down and find the Learn Sage link. On this page there are numerous free tutorials that will teach you the basics of Sage. So go ahead and watch one of them. If you're using Sage 50 Cloud, there's a basic course here that will teach you how to use the software in preparation for a bank reconciliation. There's also one for Sage Instant Accounts, Sage 50, and other Sage software as well. So go ahead and do that. If you're familiar with Sage software though, if you know the basics, then just carry on watching this series. Um, it should all make sense. If you have any questions at any point, feel free to post in the comments below. Your support is appreciated, so please like, please subscribe. I do offer Sage email support, so if you need support by email, then if you click on services up here, I do offer email support for Sage. Just follow the links and you can sign up and I'll help you directly. The Bookkeeper Master, that's me, will help you directly. Okay, so bank reconciliations, to start off with, what is a bank reconciliation? You know, it sounds quite complicated. What is a bank reconciliation? If you've been working in accounts for a while, if you're familiar with finance, accounting terminology, you would have heard of bank reconciliations before. Reconciliation, well, what does that word mean? It means to bring out one or to make one. So when we do a reconciliation, what we're trying to do is bring the financial accounts at one with what actually happened within the business. So if you have, say, a bank statement, you want your accounting software, your financial accounts, to be at one with that bank statement. You want everything that's happened within the business to actually show within the financial accounts. Now just to explain that a bit further and why a bank reconciliation needs to be done, if you think of a bookkeeper, someone that's entering financial data into Sage on a daily basis or weekly basis, what might happen is they'll be writing checks out to suppliers or they'll be making backs payments to suppliers. And when they do that, they can simply record those payments on this supply screen or this bank screen by clicking supply payment and those transactions will be recorded on Sage. Now the same thing can happen with customers if you're opening the post on a daily basis and you're receiving checks from customers that's recorded on Sage. We have a physical check here let's record that on Sage. Sometimes it's not the check that's recorded sometimes it's the pay and in book so you go and pay a bunch of cash in or checks in and then the bookkeeper or the accountant can record those transactions from the paying in book and there can be other things that happen purchase orders um, other sources of information can be entered onto sage but there will be financial data missing until a bank reconciliation is done because you'll receive a bank statement at some point and on that bank statement that will list every single transaction that's gone through the bank account and many of those things that will be listed on the bank statement will be missing from Sage. Things like bank charges. You don't usually get an invoice through the post for 
bank charges or customers that have paid into the bank and have not sent a remittance or a direct debit that goes through for electricity or phone bills, things like that. These things can be missed. They're not recorded on the financial accounts. So that's why we do a bank reconciliation. Basically, what we're going to do is go through a bank statement and ensure that every transaction that appears on the bank statement actually appears on the Sage software. Now, it's not just bank reconciliations that need to be done. You can also reconcile petty cash accounts. You can reconcile credit card accounts, savings accounts. You can even reconcile tax accounts. So if you can get a statement of your tax account with your uh, tax body, such as HMRC, if they send you a statement of um, corporation tax, you know, what's owed, what's been paid, you can go to the nominal code in SAGE and ensure that the tax account is actually a true reflection of what is outstanding according to HMRC. And you can reconcile customer and supplier accounts. If a customer or a supplier sends you a statement, uh, usually it will be a, sta uh, a supplier that sends you a statement. If a supplier sends you a statement, you can go through that statement and ensure every invoice and payment that is showing on that statement is showing on your financial accounts. So reconciliation really is a process of cleaning, of tidying, and really uh, making the accounts more accurate or making them accurate. Hopefully I've explained that clearly. When talking about all these different accounts that you can reconcile, there is only one feature um, for reconciliation which reconciles the bank accounts, which includes petty cash and credit card accounts that appears on the bank account module. If you're going to reconcile a nominal code or a customer or supplier account, there's not a feature to do that. You just manually have to make the alterations. Okay, let's get started. In the next video, we will start going through a bank statement. I will show you how to reconcile the bank current account for our first statement, which is here, statement 001 slash 019 which is for August. Okay, speak to you in the next video.